Hi, welcome to Raj and Mai. In today's video, I am going to discuss about uh, the workflows because whenever we are working on uh, agile environments, Slack integrations, all that stuff, of course, there is an option where uh, uh, we have to create workflows and all. Of course, in Jira, we can use workflows. That is one option we have. So apart from Jira, if you want to connect with any other uh, uh, apps like uh, Geekbot, right, or something like that. You know, so whatever the tool I'm using is called Geekbot. This is a tool which I have integrated with Slack. So with Slack integration, I have done it. So here, if you want to create any kind of workflows and all, here you can see there is an option called New Workflow. Or else, if you want to use any kind of uh, Templates are separate. Means if you want to create any kind of daily standup or retrospective templates, or if you want to create any meeting notes, right? So or else any, any kind of incident logs, right? So whatever we want to create any kind of sales reports, all these things we can use, right? So different, different templates which are available online, especially in Jira, when we are connecting with Slack. Again, from Slack, the Slack, we can connect with Geekbot so that we can create different, different uh, uh, workflows, all that stuff. So here you can see there is an option here called a new workflow. So of course, if there is any administrative activities kind of stuff, we can use it. Otherwise here we can create new workflow. This is what uh, we can do, right? So these workflows we can select, right? So what are the same? <clears throat> workflows be required and all of the thing that we can use it. For example, if you want to create any kind of uh, uh, incidents and all, right? So incident log it what it is. Here you can see incidents. If you want to create any incidents and all, start with the template. So we need to list out the participants here, right? So who are the participants relating to the project? So this participants we want to add. Right? So here you can see, right? So these are the two participants we have. One participant was there. And if you want to add one more participant or something, so what we have to give is that we need to provide their uh, email address, all that, right? So if you want, we can create, right? So we can, we can but make sure we need to invite those people first. Then only we, it is possible for us to uh, add those people. Otherwise, it is not possible for us to add. That is one thing we need to see. So this is where generally there are two participants that are there in the project. Wherein if you want to do any kind of scheduling or something like here, we can see there is an option called trigger by schedule. Now, the period I am talking about, I am taking weekly, two weeks period, two weeks sprint, for example. Right? So two weeks sprint, wherein it will be uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Right. So that's what I've taken. Now, for example, timing set morning, 10 a.m. The timeline we have to select here. What are the timeline uh, uh, belongs to? Those templates or time, timelines we have to select. Either it can be GMT uh, or it can be any, any whatever the timelines do we have and all. So those timelines we have to select. So what different, different timelines we have to select here. Uh, depends on... Asia, right? So Asian timings, right? So Asian timings, we can select. So we can select the timings, okay? So we can select a user timings and all. Next, we need to send a DM to the schedule time and all everything is what we need to do in the ticket. So you can see here on various two weeks period, the name in user local time zone, whoever the users, those time zones we have to mention. Next, we need to go for intro message. I think. Let's work on our product. Okay, on our product, that's what. So let's work on our product. This is what generally the introduction message I have given. You can see. Okay. Next, plain text question, right? For example, if there are any questions we want, so this question can be given. So multiple questions, right? So multiple questions because this is all for the instant management, right? 
So when we are working on the instant management, here you can see there is an option called publish, where if you are clicking on publish, automatically it will be published and notification will be sent to the people, whoever is working on. So those people can be using this and all that. At the same time, if you want to uh, see any kind of, uh, um, yeah. So if you want to see any kind of personal API keys or something like relating to that, right? So if you want to create any kind of uh, uh, reports, active reports, here, which is which are connecting to the web groups, right? So all these things we can use. So when and wherever it is needed, we can use it. This is how generally these workflows, everything can be created. G in Jira, it can be created with Slack. So with Slack, we can create, we can connect the, with the, uh, some different different tools like Gigbot and all everything so that we can work easily. So this is all about the video. So if you have any questions, if you have any queries in regard to that, please reach out to the contact details, which will be posted in below to this video. Thank you.